Hi, Mrs. Greasack here, and you guys are going to be painting today. Um, I'm making this video because I'm not here today, and I want you guys to do a good job. So, one of the things that I've already shown you how to do is how to mix the paints. So, make sure you remember what I showed you in that first video. If you were not here last week when I played the video of how to mix paints and how to paint your color wheels, then please watch that video before you paint because it's pretty important. Um, but what I haven't shown you is where to get your supplies. So here on the back counter, you're gonna find a rack of brushes. It's like a little wooden block and all the brushes go in there just like that. When you're done painting, it's very important that you wash your brush. So make sure you use a little bit of hand soap and swirl the brush around in your hand with the hand soap and then rinse it out with water to make sure that it's perfectly clean. Do not leave these brushes at your table, in your paint trays, or just laying up back here on the counter. Make sure you put them back. If you see somebody else has left their brush on accident, please be helpful to the classroom and pick up the brush and put it in the rack for me because that would be very, very, very nice. And we really wanna keep this classroom in good condition. When I come back next week on Monday, I wanna see perfection as far as cleanliness. Um, in the classroom. All right, let's go over here so I can show you also where else to get some supplies because not only will you need a brush, but you will also need a water cup. So the water cups are always stacked in this corner on the back counter. And when you're done with your water cup, rinse it out, clean it out, and restack it in this exact same spot. I do not want to find water cups all over the counter or everywhere around the room. Um, also on the counter, let's see if I can get you to see this. There's a cup full of these kind of brushes. These brushes, you guys, are not for painting your color wheels, okay? It's too big of a brush and it's too messy. What this brush is for is for cleaning your paint trays. And I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that in a minute. But first, let's look at your table to see what you have available at your table. So on your table, you should already notice that there are some paint trays and each table has paint trays that are labeled with the artist for that table. Um, right now, all of the paint trays have been cleaned. Um, they're not brand new paints, but they have been cleaned. And you notice that the yellow is all by itself over here with a, an empty space. This empty space is usually where brown goes. Um, actually, they usually don't go in this order, but I changed the order so that it would be easier for mixing and um, less likely to get contaminated. So we're keeping the yellow all by itself so that you don't accidentally get it contaminated. But really, you should never, ever, ever be dipping a brush with a different color on it into um, load paint. Your brush should always be clean and only loading with the one color that you need. You guys do not use this part over here for mixing. Um, you don't need to do that. You're gonna do it right on your color wheel. Okay, so your paint trays are there. They're all labeled and so are the color wheels. The color wheels are here so that you can label all the colors on your design, your mandala design that you've drawn. And my recommendation when you're labeling your colors is to spin your color wheel. So if you um, can see, I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, if you can see this color wheel that I have right here, um, what you would do is take one of these, pick your favorite color to start with. You guys, it doesn't matter what order your colors are in. Well, it does matter what order they're in, but it doesn't matter where they start. Because if I spin this color wheel, it's still a color wheel no matter how many times I spin it. Um, it can technically even be a reverse of this, like a mirror image, but we're not going to go there. Just um, pick your favorite color. Let's say um, blue is your favorite color and pick which spot on here is going to be blue and write the word blue right on your color wheel right there. And then follow the order. So the next one will be blue violet. It's gonna be here. Write out the whole word, please. Do not make initials, okay? Initials get confusing later and I've had many, many students paint the wrong color in the wrong place because they used uh, initials and then they you know, got confused. So write out the whole word and just keep spinning the color wheel as you write the word. So you're writing the word normal right side up right here, but as I spin, um, the words are all gonna rotate around the center and then it's gonna look very, very nice. So spend some time and label all your colors before you paint. It's very important that your colors be labeled before you paint. Once you have all your colors labeled, then you can get your paint set out. You can get a cup of water for yourself. You can share water if there's not enough cups. I think I might have enough cups, but if there's not, then you know, be uh, be nice to each other, share water, get new water often. Um, when you get water, make sure you don't get too much water, right? 
Um, but then you can get your brush and you can start painting and be very careful and remember my directions from the video. So when you're getting water, let's see if I have to aim this differently. You're going to take your cup. So this one looks like the last person used it. It didn't clean it very well. Um, you guys, don't worry if the water looks cloudy like that. It's just because there's a lot of air in the water when it you know goes through the system. It'll clear up when you when you set it at your table for a little while. But um, do not fill it all the way to the top, okay? Fill it only halfway because you don't want this to accidentally spill. And if it's all filled up to the top, it's going to be more likely to spill. And that would be bad news. All right, I have a couple of paint trays that are really, really bad. If your paint tray looks like this at the end of the day, um, your your table is definitely going to lose points. Look at this giant mess that's in here. Um, or if it looks like this, it's going to be even worse. Look at that giant mess. I don't want to see any paint over here at all. Um, this looks like somebody had loaded all their paint with water and then let it drip over there. Um, the way to clean your paints... Um, or like this. You take the paint tray and these little paints actually pop out of there. So you can, um, if they're wet, I would get a piece of paper towel. Get a piece of paper. These are not wet, but um, if you if you have wet paints, which you probably will from painting, do this, pop them out, and then you can take this paint tray and you can take one of these scrub brushes and you can run it under the water. Okay, and you can clean it up. Okay, that water's too hot. My water in this room is pretty hot, but warm water does clean better than cold water. But you can see how nice and clean that's coming. It's super easy. It's not even hard to clean it. It cleans very easily. And you can do the same thing with the paint tray. So if your paint tray is messy like that, you can run under water. This actually might require the use of a washcloth. Um, a wet paper towel is not going to work, but a washcloth will work nicely, usually. There's a lot of wet paint stuck in this one. Hopefully you guys will not be this messy, let me tell you. This is pretty annoying. Um, but as you can see, it's coming clean pretty easily. Watercolor paint is nice because it washes off surfaces pretty easily. It will not come out of your clothes very easily, so try not to get it on your clothing. Um, it will stain. You might be able to get it out when you get home if you tell your mom right away and she washes it in the wash machine that day. But then, if any of your colors are contaminated, so let's look at this yellow one, see? Um, one of the things you can do with that is you can take one of these clean brushes, make sure it's clean, that it doesn't have any other color in it, and you can usually decontaminate the paint by doing this. Do not run your paint under the water. <laughs> if you run the paint under the water, um, this is what's gonna happen. All, all the paint will disappear out of there. And I don't really want to lose all my paint. I just want it to be nice and clean. So at the end of your painting experience, I want you to make sure that all your paint trays are clean. Put them back in the same order. So check what the order is before you empty them out like that so that you can put them back in the right way with the yellow all by itself at one end and the black at the opposite end. Um, but yeah, have fun painting.